Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Henry Danger's house from the show Henry Danger. I had a fun time making this. It was actually hard to design, but I think that you guys will have an easy time building it. If you do enjoy the tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button. That really helps me out. I've had a lot of requests to make this, and that is why you guys are seeing it. So please do keep up those requests, keep up those likes, and of course, if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. But without any further ado, let me show you how to make this. Let's get stuck in. So if you want to make it, Here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some grass blocks, some terracotta, birch planks, grey concrete, black stained glass, black stained glass paint, quartz slabs, red concrete, and some stone brick slabs. We also need all of the other materials that you might be able to see in the inventory right now. And once you have absolutely all of those, we can begin the build. So we're going to start off by placing a single grass block on the floor. And on top of that grass block, we're going to place five terracotta coming upwards. One, two, three, four, five. We then want to do five upper right diagonals. One, two, three, four, and five. We want to go right of that fifth diagonal by four. One, two, three, four. And do five bottom right diagonals. One, two, three, four, five and connect that fifth block down to the ground almost because we want to place a grass block on the ground connecting the block as we did on the opposite side and we can also connect those grass blocks together at the base and we can connect the terracottas at the bottom of what we've just made together also we then want to place two windows inside this area. One's going to be on the left, one's going to be on the right. We want to place three rows of glass coming inwards from either side. One, two, three. And we want to place two rows on top of that. So it's a three by three window. One and two. We want to place quartz slabs in front of the bottom half of the window and the top half of the window too. And we're going to come to the opposite side and we're going to place three glass. One, two, three. And we're going to place two rows of glass directly on top of that row of glass. And we're going to place a row of quartz slab at the bottom and the top. Like that. We are then going to completely fill this area in here with terracotta. As you guys can see me doing right now. Because we're going to try and add as much detail into each part of the build that we're wor working on at the time that we're working on it. Instead of having to come back. Because I think that this is a better, less confusing way of doing things. Like that. There we go. What we then want to do is we want to grab our... We want to grab a few things. We want to grab stomach stairs, quartz stairs, and quartz blocks. We want to place on the outer part of the triangle shape that is the roof for this part of the house, we want to place a quartz stair. But on the middle parts, we want to place stone brick stairs coming upwards until we hit the top of the side of the building. And that the same thing goes for the right hand side. So quartz stairs here and then stone brick stairs coming upwards until we hit the side of the building. We want to place quartz stairs popping out from every single quartz stair and stone brick stair that we have. And they actually want to be connected together at the top using quartz blocks like this. Like that. And we want to place upside down quartz stairs coming up. So upside down quartz stairs coming up all the way up to the top underneath the stairs that we've placed. Like that. And what we're then going to do is we're going to place terracotta underneath all of the quartz blocks at the top of this build. And we're going to extend the terracotta downwards until it hits the ground. Or until it hits the point that we are placing terracotta. And then underneath that we can place grass block. The reason that we have grass in our inventory and the reason that we are using it by the way is because the house is elevated. So we're building it on a little bit of a foundation that's all we're doing so once you've got that sorted out we want to come to the right hand side of this part of the building and you want to take the right hand row of terracotta and you want to extend it back by one row like that just one row straight back take the top terracotta and extend it to the right by eight that's one two three four five six seven eight do two things first 
connect that terracotta down to the ground, or once again, connect it down to almost the ground, but place a grass block underneath it. And if you want, you can even once, like like I keep saying, you can like place a row of grass if you want to uh, connect things together. Um, we are also going to go up on top of this terrac terracotta block, though, and we are going to place a row of virtual planks on top, and we want to place a row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do four up left diagonals. One, two, three, four. And do four bottom left diagonals. One, two, three, four. And what you can then do is you can just connect that downwards like this, and you will form this shape. This is actually the front door area. So, on top of this row of terracotta, at the bottom of this area, we're going to place a row of birch. We're going to identify the three middle blocks, and we're going to place an additional row of birch on top. One, two, three. Then we're going to place four rows of glass. One, two, three, four. And we're going to place birch planks going all the way around this. So we're going to place birch planks going all the way around the window like this. And we're just going to completely fill in the entire area. So we want to have something which should look like that. We want to place quartz slab at the bottom half of the window and the top half of the window. To once again better define the windows, it also looks quite nice. And something else that you can do to kind of prepare for the roof, you can place quartz stairs on the outer top part of the triangular shape. And you can place stone brick stairs coming up the side of this. And you can also place a row of quartz stairs coming outwards from these stone brick stairs. And by the way, place a quartz slab on top and extend it outwards as well to kind of like have a nice point on the build like this. And then we can place upside down quartz stairs underneath the overhanging stairs like this. So underneath the overhanging stairs, we can just have our quartz stairs, which looks very, very nice. Very, very good. Oh, and by the way, if you want, you can even make a start by placing quartz slabs on top of these quartz blocks that we have here to the left. And you can even extend that one row backwards a little bit, like so. So, so far, you can see that we are actually cracking on with the house, and we should have something that should look like this. So, once you've got the upper half of the entrance sorted out, we can actually focus on the lower half of the entrance. And what we want to do is this. Using our terracotta, we want to add a row of terracotta inside of the lower half of the entrance. So, just inside of this row that we already have here on the right-hand side. And we also want to do the same thing on the left-hand side like this. Then place an additional ter terracotta in the top left hand corner and the top right hand corner of the actual entrance and it looks like a nice rounded archway. We then want to place grass block underneath this just to kind of connect and keep things together. What we now want to do is we want to take the back right hand side of the archway, the top side, and we want to place a row of three terracotta coming back from this corner. That's one, two, three. And we want to connect that third block down to the ground. Well, actually not to the ground. We're, we're building everything on grass blocks, but you guys get the idea. And we can even take that terracotta that we connected down to the ground. We can extend it across the back of the archway. And we can actually connect it to the opposite end, like that. And also down to the ground as well. Well, again, the grass. Just assume that everything's getting connected to grass. Now, we have to make the entrance to the house. This is pretty interesting. So, the entrance to the house is actually going to be built inside of this terracotta area here. And it's very simple stuff. So, we're going to place quartz. We're going to place a row of quartz coming up the left-hand side of the inside of the terracotta and the right-hand side, so we want quartz closing in from the left and the right. We want to place black stained glass block all the way around the inside of the archway, the left-hand side, the right-hand side, and the top. And then we want to place red concrete inside of the glass like this, leaving enough room for an entrance, which will of course be inside of the red, and I'm using a dark oak door. 
So, the entrance wants to look very much like that, and you know what, the bottom of the entrance would actually be more like terracotta than anything, so I'm actually going to place just terracotta all the way around the entrance area here, underneath the windows, all of that fun stuff, and I'm just going to fill the ground in here with terracotta, because it wouldn't be grass, because there's a path, so we're going to place that. And we're also going to seal up this wall, just left of the inside of the entrance, you wouldn't see it unless you actually came inside the house, but you would otherwise have an exposed wall. So we want to have something which should look like that. You can see that's looking a lot nicer, a lot brighter. If we come to the very back right hand side of this again, we want to place behind the entrance terracotta. On the right hand side, we want to place uh, two additional rows of terracotta coming back. That's one and two. And on top of all of this, we actually want to place a row of birchwood planks that comes up as high as the row of birchwood that we have for the front of the house. So we want to keep up with the birchwood, and it wants to be as high as the house is on the front. And as a matter of fact, we want a similar thing on the left-hand side. We also want to place terracotta here on the left-hand side. And we want to place rows of birch wood planks exactly as we did on the other side. And I'm just noticing another little thing as well. Uh, once you've placed all of your birch wood, like this, we can fill in the top of the actual porch here. We can fill in the top of the porch, the top of the entrance, using terracotta, like that. And from the outside, you should now have something which looks like this. It hasn't actually changed very much from the front, but we have added quite a bit. We then want to do this. We want to take the very back wall of terracotta. We want to take this bottom block, and we want to extend it to the right by three. One, two, three. Place a quartz coming right towards you. And then place another one. And then go right by four. One, two, three, four. Place a quartz going right behind. And then place a terracotta going right and behind. And go right by two. One, two. What we now want to do is we want to place three rows of glass on top of the quartz. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. And we want to place terracotta everywhere else coming up as high as the terracotta all the way around the front of the house. Like, the terracotta is pretty consistent, as is the virtual planks. It all wants to be as high as each other, so like this. On top of the window, we can place an additional layer of block of quartz. I almost forgot about that. And then, on top of the terracotta coming across... We want to place rows of birchwood planks, so coming across we want to place a row of birchwood planks like this, just behind and above the window. We then want to place an additional row of birchwood directly on top of this. And then starting from either the right or left hand side, we want to place two birchwood coming inwards, one, two, grey concrete. Then we want to place a row of seven glass, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with a grey concrete, and then we want to stack the exact same on top. So, on top of the glass, on top of the concrete, the exact same. And, what we're going to do is we are going to... You know what? We're going to make that a row of three. I do apologise. We're going to make that a row of three. So, add another one on top, because what we're going to be doing is we are going to um, add on our quartz slabs. We're going to add quartz slabs to the lower part of the window, like this, to the lower part of the window, and to the upper part of the window, only in front of the glass, not in front of the concrete. And we're just going to place birch planks all the way around the top of the window here, and the birchwood planks are going to, of course, come as high as the previous rows of birchwood planks before them, so they want to come about as high as this. So as you can see, we're making great progression with the house. Now, we want to grab our stone brick slabs and we want to make a window. Or we want to make like a roof for the top of this window, better, better to say. So we want to place a row of stone brick slabs going around the top of this window. So in front of the quartz block at the top of the window, place stone brick slabs. Then place one row inwards, a row of stone brick slabs again, just half a row above. 
and then finish this by sealing up the gap half a row above using these stone brick slabs. So we want to have something which should look exactly like that. That's looking really good. And if you like, what you can even do is you can place um, grass block underneath this because I don't know about you guys, but I find it kind of weird that the house is kind of just floating there. I, I find that a little bit weird. It's kind of just like meditating and floating above the, uh, above the ground itself. So that's what we want to have. Now, let's add some dimension to the house. Grab terracotta and extend this entire row of terracotta, all of it, towards the back of the house by 29. Yeah, it's a pretty big house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. And we want to extend every row. I know it's painful. Very painful. Every row of terracotta going behind. But it is very important because, of course, this is a nice big house. It's it's like a mansion, honestly. I don't know if I don't know if you call it a mansion, but it, it looks like one to me. I'd love to live here, especially the real version. I mean, I'd live in it in Minecraft if I could somehow make myself virtual and live inside of it. But you know what? I'd take the real thing any day. But we also not only do we want to do the terracotta, but we also want to do the virtual planks as well, because this house is almost quite consistently the same sort of size all the way around the house. So we're just going to add all of these rows of virtual blanks on top of our terracotta and once we've done that we can extend across the back of the house we can make all of the rest of the house and honestly the hardest part is the front of the house the hardest part is by definitely the front of the house so once that's sorted out which it pretty much is by the way ladies and gentlemen very good job by the way if you have completed that i'm sure you have if you're onto this part of the tutorial very well done because we don't have a lot of hard bits left to do and i do believe that we've just got one more row of virtual planks after this it is a very tedious process it does take a long time it's very repetitive but what can you do so we just want to have that and then underneath all of this once again i'm just going to place a row of grass block just because I, it irritates me not to to have like a floating building oh no it's it's just my thing so on the back of the house you can see a very big house on the back of the house this is what we are going to do now so we're going to use our terracotta and we're going to extend this wall to the right by 21. Coming across the back of the house, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we're going to add up all of those rows of terracotta until they are as high as the first row. Uh, uh, like all of the other rows, we want it all to be the same. So it's pretty cool it's a nice two-tone house i quite like the color combination it's very very realistic i mean it's based on like a, an actual house so i guess it would have to be quite realistic anyway but we want to have all those rows of terracotta and then what we're going to do is we're going to add two rows of virtual planks on top of this so that's going to be one row I, I know, this, ta this takes a while. One row, and then two rows of virtual planks directly on top of this. And what we're then going to do is we're going to, on top of the second row, going from the left to the right, we're going to place a virtual plank, grey concrete. We're then going to place ourselves six glass going right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then a grey concrete, virtual plank, grey concrete, and then six glass, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a grey concrete, and then we're going to fill the rest of the row in using virtual planks. And we'll take every single grey concrete and every single glass, and we want to add two rows directly on top of these. And what we're also going to be doing, very similar-ish to what we did on the front of the build, is we are going to be adding quartz slabs to the uh, lower half of the windows only the windows not the gray concrete and we will also be adding quartz slabs to the upper half of the windows so if we were to grab our quartz slabs we can place quartz slabs the lower half like this and the upper half as well like this and we're going to fill in the rest of this using virtual blanks in between all of the windows and stuff and we are going to make it all as high as each other using the virtual plants. We're going to make it all as high. And once we've done that, we can move on to the next bit. So we can have that. 
So, what we now want to do is we want to take this row of terracotta once again and we want to extend it towards us out the back of the house by three rows. One, two, three. So the end terracotta, extend it towards you by three rows. And on top of the terracotta, you want to place rows of six birch wood planks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And you just want to place your rows of six. You then want to, from your birch wood plank, you can just do it from the most outward row if you like. You want to do seven upright diagonals. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can do seven bottom right diagonals as well. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can go down by, well, I guess it would be five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can connect that down to the ground using your terracotta. But once again, you guys know we don't connect stuff down to the ground. We connect it down to a grass block which we can extend all the way over to the left. And I am just noticing that the house is once again floating, which I'm not a massive fan of. And we're just going to place ourselves some uh, grass block underneath the floating house, like that. We're going to connect the terracotta together at the top. So we're going to connect the terracotta, terracotta together at the top. We're going to place a row of terracotta underneath this. And then on the left hand side, starting from the left going to the right, we're going to place a block of quartz, two black glass, quartz, terracotta, we need the red concrete, we're going to place a red concrete, we're going to go up by two, one two, right two, one two, connect down to the ground, we're going to take the block that hit the ground, we're going to place a terracotta, quartz, two glass, quartz, and we're going to extend the quartz upwards by two rows, like this. And we're going to fill the rest of this in using black stained glass pane, like this. And I'm just going to fill around the door in using terracotta like this. And this area is where a back door would be, so I'm going to place a door in there. And I'm going to fill the upper portion of this in using birch wood planks. So I'm just going to fill the upper portion of this in using birch wood planks. And then we can focus on connecting the rest of the house together. And you know, guess what? Once we have connected the house together, once we have done, there's not too much more structural work to do. We can work on the roof. And that, then I, I get we're mostly done then, which is kind of cool, really. But uh, we want to have something which should so far. Hang on, we've we've almost done this. I have missed a block down here, but uh, we have got something now which should look exactly like this. And I do like to kind of like prepare the roofs. So I'm going to once again, I'm going to place a quartz stair on the end of this roof with stone brick stairs coming all the way up to the top, to the apex of the roof, with a quartz slab on top. And I'm going to place stone brick stairs coming down until we place a quartz stairs here on the end. And I'm actually going to extend that quartz stairs backwards as well. And I'm going to then extend the roof forward by one row using the quartz stairs. Because like I said, I kind of like to get the roofs prepared and then I like to fill them in afterwards because the roofs are my least favorite part pretty much every single time my least favorite part unless they're a flat roof of a build like the roofs I'm, i just don't like doing them i don't know about you guys i'm sure there's something that you guys don't like doing about particular builds whether it's like the walls the floors whatever it might be uh mine's the roof so uh we have something which should look like that it's looking pretty good now come to the right hand side of the house <laughs> There's not really a right hand side of the house at the moment, is there? Uh, what we want to do is we want to take this terracotta wall and we want to extend it forwards by 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Like that. And we want to extend the whole wall. <laughs> it's not just one part of the wall. We want to extend the entire wall. 
it's a big wall. It really is. It's a nice big portion of the house. I wish I could have detailed it better. I wish I could have detailed the whole house better, to be honest with you, because it's really hard, especially when it comes to, like, TV programs and cartoons can even be worse. Uh, this isn't a cartoon, but you guys get the idea. Uh, cartoons can be bad with this as well, in that you can't, you don't see the entire house. Like, you, you don't get, like, a whole tour. And, of course, once you've extended the terracotta forwards, also extend the virtual blanks, uh, you don't get a whole tour of the house, which is a bit irritating, to be honest, um, because it would be cool if I could make the entire thing as detailed and as structurally true as possible. But, with a lot of these builds, you do have to make some of it up, unfortunately, because like I said, I would love it if there was like a, if, I, w I would love it if there was like a whole 360 spin of the house, but unfortunately, there, there just isn't, or at least not that I've been able to find anyways. So if you are able to add additional details to the house, uh, I would highly suggest it, if you know more than I do. I'm sure that you guys that do watch the program, because I, I, I don't watch it, uh, I just make the stuff, um, you know, you'll have a better insight to me as how to make these more details. So please do. So we've extended that entire wall there. And what we now want to do is we want to take the top virtual plank at the front of the build, so this one, and we want to place seven up right diagonals coming from this birch wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then we want to do six bottom right diagonals. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then you should find that the sixth diagonal should actually connect very nicely to uh, to the front of the house, like this. And what we're now going to do is we are just going to fill the front of this in. We're going to use our birch wood planks, and we're just going to fill the front of this in using birch wood, like this. You guys can see me doing this. And this is because, well, the lower half doesn't have to be filled in, but the upper half does because we're going to be connecting roofs and stuff in just a moment. And uh, it's going to do a very good job in uh, hiding all of the emptiness. So that is why we're filling the entire thing in using birch wood. And I am leaving the lower half open because of the interior space because uh, we want to have a bit more of it. So we're leaving the terracotta alone. And what we're also going to do is we're going to extend the terracotta wall that we extended from the back of the house. We're going to extend it forwards a few rows until it connects to actually where we very first started on the front of the house. And just because I'm crazy, I, I think that's what it is. I'm just literally, literally crazy. I need to place the grass block underneath the house. I'm not actually crazy, by the way. I just I'd probably a little OCD if I had to guess. I don't know. I, it's not diagnosed. So we have a little bit of grass block. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But once we have done that, this is what we want to do next. So this part of the house here where we have the... Uh, where we have the virtual plank, we want to place terracotta in front of the top virtual plank and we want to extend this terracotta coming down and we want to make it we want to make it how many rows thick do we want to make this thing let me make sure that i'm getting this correct yeah okay so we want to make it three rows thick in total so we're going to add a row on the left coming all the way up to the top and we're going to add a row on the right coming all the way up to the top like this. And um, what you can do is you can even extend it left and right like that. And we're going to extend the terracotta forwards by one row to make the chimney a bit thicker because that's what this is. This is a chimney like this. And we also want to extend it up by say like four rows. One row. Two. Three. I might just leave it at three, actually. I don't know why. I kind of like uh, the number three. Uh, so, yeah, that, that actually looks pretty decent. So, we're going to have it three rows up. Now, once you've done that, we're going to add just the outline for one additional roof, which is going to come up and at the side of the chimney. We're going to, once again, place a quartz stairs on the side of the roof with Stonebrook stairs coming up the side as far as you can come. And then down the side here, we're going to place just stone brick coming down the right hand side because this is actually going to connect to the front of the house like this, uh, like that. So there's not really a need to place any quartz. And then the overhanging part of the roof, we are going to once again place the quartz stairs like this. And we're going to have um, upside down, oh, 
that won't be there, will it? Uh, we're going to have upside down. Oh no, can I place it? Can I even? I'm going to have to knock out a block. Uh, we're going to have upside down quartz stairs. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to destroy blocks, aren't I? Upside down quartz stairs uh, underneath the overhanging part of the roof, like this. But it's going to look really nice, trust me, once it's all done. And all of the roofs and stuff are all going to join together in a very nice and natural and great looking way. It's actually a big part of this house. There we go. I'm just going to uh, fill that in. And what you want to have should look exactly like this so far. You can see that's actually a huge portion of the house done. What are we going to be doing next? Well, let's join all of the roofs together. There's a lot of them. First, we'll start with the mini roof, the first roof that we did. We want to extend every quartz block and every stone brick block backwards using the blocks themselves. So wherever you have a row of quartz, use quartz. Wherever you have a row of stone, use stone. Uh, the rows want to come as far back as the birch wood. This also includes on the side. So like where you could extend the row of quartz stairs, don't bother. Just extend it so far back. And we're going to do the same with the quartz stair. And for the top, we're going to use quartz slabs like this to just fill in the top. Just quartz slabs like that. And we're going to have stone brick stairs coming down the opposite side. This is actually really tricky to place, guys. I, I do apologize. You know what? If we start at the top, and we might even have to destroy a, uh, a row or so um, once uh, once we've done that. But it's, it's going to... Ah, uh, okay, okay, I'm just gonna have to replace this wall, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot easier like this. So, we're going to just do the roof like this. And then here. Like that. And then I'm just going to seal up this wall again using birch wood planks, like this. And you will find that that looks really, really nice. Yeah, look at that. That, lo that looks great, that looks perfect. Uh, we're going to seal up the left-hand side of the roof together, which just simply means, pretty much in the entire most part, is we just want to connect all of the rows of quartz stair together to all of the stomach stairs, and eventually you will reach an apex. So you'll reach an apex, and what an apex is, if you're unfamiliar, it's, it's the top of something, like it's as high as, as it gets. So we're just going to connect this like that. And the, th there's no actual hard part of this roof. A lot of this is actually really, really long, and it's not really, really that much fun to do <laughs> with the roof, but um, it is what it is, you know, it's, you need a roof on the house, it is really huge. I mean, if you have a look at the area of the house, you could really fill this thing in, like, you could make this, if you don't really want to make, like, an exact replica of, like, Henry Danger's house himself, which I bet you could, with all of the insane space base that has been given. Um, I bet you could absolutely do that without any problem. Then, if not, if you didn't want to do that, you could very easily turn this into just a huge mansion. That's kind of cool about this house, actually. That's what I like. In a lot of cases, uh, you know, like cartoon houses and show houses and stuff, like... You can't really use them unless you like the program. Like, for instance, and of course we're going to come down the other side uh, of the roof. Uh, for instance, like you might have seen in the background, we've got like the Avengers Tower. We've got the Hall of Justice. We've got, you know, like Rick and Morty's house. That's actually a, kind of like an exception to the rule. But there's a lot of buildings that you, you're probably not going to want to build unless you like the build, unless you like the cartoon or the build itself, but with stuff like this, like, you can just appreciate it, because it's a cool, big-looking house, if that makes sense, you can just appreciate it, because it is a cool, big-looking house, so, I think that that's pretty awesome, I hope that you guys do too, I, I hope that some of you guys, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's up to you, I, I bet that some of you guys will have made this house, even though maybe you've not even watched Henry Danger. I, if I saw this house in like uh, on YouTube, like in recommended, I'd be like, oh wow, that's that's kind of huge, that's kind of massive. I like it. And so we've built down all the opposite side of the roof. Now what we're now going to do is we're going to take the roof above the porch area, above the entrance, and we're going to extend it, and we're going to connect it to the roof that we've actually just made. So we're going to extend all of these stone brick blocks, and we're going to extend it and connect it to the roof that we've just made. And this is just what we're doing on the left-hand side of the roof. Um, the opposite side of the roof is actually going to be a little bit different. So, um, we're going to just take these stomach stairs and then, um, we're going to take the other side of the roof. And I'll show you how we're going to be doing that in just a second. So, um, we want to have something which should look like that. 
Oh, and we also want to take the row of quartz stair and we just want to connect it underneath there like that on the left hand side. There we go. Wonderful. So if we take the opposite side of the roof, if we take the opposite side of the entrance, we want to use our quartz stairs to go all the way around the top of the house. So we're going to place quartz stairs going all the way around the top of the house like this. And the, the row of quartz stairs and subsequently in a little bit, the stone brick stairs are going to come all the way to the very back of the house. So we're extending it all the way around we're going to connect it to the back of the house in this position and we can even like place a few rows of stone brick stairs here like this and we're going to above this we're going to connect this back roof to the front and we're just going to place rows and rows and rows of stone brick stairs going from one side of the house to the opposite side of the house it's just going to join around and eventually you will see how it all connects together nicely so like you'll be able to see there's actually not that many more rows of stone brick stairs to do there's only three more rows so it's just going to curve around and it's going to connect to the back part of the roof and once we do get to the top once we get to the apex of that roof we're going to fill the top of it in using our quartz slabs that's how we're going to get it all filled in eventually so once we've connected to the back we're going to Sometimes you'll have to place additional uh, stone brick stairs, like you'll have to knock out one and then replace it to make it join. Um, but we're just going to join and join and join together, and you'll be able to see how it all goes, and it's going to look really nice. And once the roof's been done, that'll be the house portion of this complete. And then there's just the garden, and I do think that the garden itself, whilst it's, I haven't done the best possible job I could because I, I've only seen the front of the house, um, I, I, it, it does really fit nicely and it is an important part of the house so we will of course be doing the front garden after we've done this and uh, this is the last row of stomach stairs this is the last part that you even have to think about I don't know why they're placing upside down and we're going to connect that from the left hand side all the way over to the right once again like this boom now all we have to do is we just have to fill the top of this in using quartz slabs that's all we're gonna do we're gonna fill this in using quartz slabs i'm going to define the area so that you guys can see it nice and easily i'm going to define the area using quartz slabs like this and you'll be able to see that it reaches all the way from one side it's going to join to the front and then it's going to move through like that and it's going to connect to the back so it's going to form a nice big solid shape you guys will be able to see what i'm talking about there you go nice big square and we're just going to completely fill this in using our quartz slab and that will be guys like i said if you don't want to do the garden i completely up to you if you do or don't i, I don't mind um once you have completely filled this in using the quartz slabs then we will focus on the garden i've really only just defined the mm, I've, I've defined like the boundary the borders the walls to the house i haven't added a huge amount of detail to them but you guys all like i keep saying like those of you that are more familiar with the program those of you that do know a lot more about the actual house itself and about the show itself then you will be able to do a better job at details than than i could unless i sat down and watched like all i think like three seasons of henry danger i know that there's quite a few uh, i know that the, there'd be a lot to watch if i wanted to really do my research but um unfortunately i don't want to do that i want to keep i i i want to take that time and i want to build more stuff so uh you know i i have to just take what i can get from like google images and and certain videos and i just have to you know i have to just apply it like that but uh we have almost filled in this roof and then like i say i, I i'm like a parrot uh we can continue on to the actual uh, garden portion of this which is once again very very easy indeed how many more rows of quartz slabs do we have to place for this roof it is huge isn't it how many more like two more rows after this you can't believe how big the house is like just from the front shot of the house you might not be able to tell it's only when you get like a diagonal shot or maybe even a side shot then you can see that this house is very vast it's very big 
and it's a nice huge mansion. I mean, look at that. That's a roof. It all connects together so nicely. I love that. And if we have a look from the front, there you have Henry Danger's house. Now, next bit. Grab yourself some terracotta. We are going to take the very bottom left of the entrance, which is this row, and very bottom right of the entrance, which is this row, and we're going to place five terracotta coming outwards towards us. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to place grass block underneath the terracotta, like this. We're going to extend the grass towards us by three rows. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And we're going to place a terracotta on the third block and extend it towards us by four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And connect that down to the ground, like that. We're going to place terracotta underneath this just to fill it in. And we're going to connect that pair of terracotta together at the bottom using stone slabs. And we're going to fill the center of this in using stone slabs. And the stone slabs want to be as high as the grass blocks and as high as the entrance. This is going to be the main entrance. This is going to be the walkway to Henry Danger's actual house. So uh, that's what we've got going on here like this. So we just want to have something which should look like that. And just to add a bit of detail, we're going to use glowstone, wooden trapdoors, and quartz slabs. And we're going to place uh, glowstones on top of those corner terracottas. We're going to place wooden trapdoors around the glowstone with a quartz slab on top. And that's going to look very, very nice. So going all the way around the glowstone, we're going to place wooden trapdoors and a quartz slab on top. Like that. That's looking good. Now, we're going to take the bottom terracottas and we're going to extend them left and right of the house. And we're going to even them up with the side of the house. So that's, that's the left hand side of the house. It goes as far as that. And we're going to take this right one and we're going to extend it right. And we're going to even it up with the right hand side of the house like that. And then we're going to just make up a number. Let, like four. No, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to extend it five rows coming out of the side of the house. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to extend these two rows backwards. We're going to extend them backwards towards the back of the house. And we are going to even up these rows with the back of the house. So like this. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to make up a number like like uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to extend them coming out of the back of the house by seven this time. So I'm going to take this opposite row right here and I'm going to extend it coming out of the back of the house by seven rows. We're, ju we're just going to line it up with the other side. We, we don't have to do any sort of calculations or anything, but we just want to make sure that it is even with that opposite row. And I'm just going to connect them both together. And this is going to establish the wall of the property. That's that's pretty much all we're doing right here. We're just establishing the wall of the property like this. And then we're going to place jungle leaves on top of all of the terracotta. And then once we place jungle leaves all the way on top of the terracotta, we've got a very boring job. I, I, I personally don't like doing this very much. We have to fill the entire yard in, that's the front and the back, we have to fill the entire yard in using grass. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to place some hedges around the windows, probably just the left windows, because I don't want to cover up the right windows. And I'm going to place some flowers also just around the house just to make it look a little bit nicer but I'll be filling everything in with grass I'll fill uh, I'll, I'll add some hedging to the uh, to the window on the left hand side uh, there is a little bit more plant life but I kept it a bit more plain um, partly from the thumbnail and partly because I, I like seeing the house so much but you can see that we've now created a perimeter for the house like I said, now I'm going to fill the entirety of this in using grass. I'll add some hedges, I'll add some flowers, and then I'll be back once I've done that. Because you guys don't want to see this. You don't want to see me do this in the video. It's going to take a long time. So I'll be back once I've done that. It won't take me that long, guys. Trust me. It'll take me just a second. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Henry Danger's house 
complete. As you can see, I've added a little hedging to the front of the house with some flowers around it. Very easy to do. Uh, I've added a little bit of flowerage on the right hand side. There's plenty of room to add some more flower beds, maybe even a tree. Uh, if you have more knowledge of the show, then please do add more things that you guys are familiar with. But that is the house. I've also blacked out the windows, by the way, because I think it looks better. Um, just in my opinion. And th that's the house. As you can, I've also filled in all of the grass as well. Um, um, as you might have noticed, but but that's it guys. That is Henry Danger's house quite a long build But definitely worth it if you're into the show or if you just love the house. I love it I think that this is a really cool house if you guys did enjoy this tutorial Please do remember to hit that like button. It helps me out. No end. You've got no idea It really is helpful to hit that like if you enjoy the content subscribe to the channel Click the little bell next to the subscription button then show us that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box And of course leave me a comment. Let me know. What do you want to see next? Is there some Somebody specific you want to see do you want to see i don't know let me know down there in the comments what should i make next if you do enjoy the content if you do want to see more check out the card system the description below for my cartoon builds house playlist uh, that'll have stuff like this in here it'll have all sorts of stuff that you might be able to see around me we've got loads of cartoon related builds that i'm sure that you guys would want to check out thank you so much for watching that's the card system description below that's the cartoon builds playlist thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video